we're talking to the devil, and we're talking to one of his servants. That, that was loud. That was right next to me. So guys, we've turned up tonight to an alleged haunted, abandoned house. Big shout out to our friend, Mr. Cole Guntrip, exploring the entity for providing this location with us. Now, he got messaged by a neighbor that lives close to this place and was talking about that this place has been left abandoned due to some of the paranormal activity. Now, Cole did come here about a week ago or something, and he caught some amazing things. Um, he didn't tell me what he caught, but he said he caught some amazing things, and he really wanted us to come here and check it out. So here we are, me and Griff, standing outside this amazing looking building. Now we have been here for about two hours, we've been getting some shots, we've been spending some time in here, and when we was actually chilling in the kitchen, setting up, we actually heard... It's like, like rolling and, or something, it was weird. Yeah, it was like a, it, yeah, it, it's a weird sense, it was like a moan. But as you said, you yeah, like possibly like could roll. roll. It was it was such a bizarre noise because and he and he thought he was me. I thought he was him. And was like maybe he was just in between us. And all we was doing was setting up the cameras. So we, there was nobody in there other than us, and it was literally like a yeah, like like marbles, loads of them rolling. Or but it was for long, wasn't it? it was yeah. long, but it could have been a voice as well. It was crazy. The rain is about to come down, so we are going to make our way into this building in a moment. But it's a—it's an amazing-looking farmhouse, eight-bedroom, eight-bedroom eight farmhouse. So it's massive. Yeah, it's really big. So anyway, we're going to jump in. Um, I think that's pretty much everything covered, isn't it, Jess? I think so. I, I think... bloody think so. Yeah, let's get in here. Bad. Remember to lock the door behind you, Jess. I'm sure I'll do that. So I don't want anyone coming in. Now we'll take you through a tour of the house. Now we do have the ghost tube up. We have just set that up. He did just say um, spirit, didn't he? And she's watching or something. She won't leave. She won't leave. In the new dynamic voice. It's a bit warm. It smells like a uh, rat piss. I do like these stairways. It gives me that, um, reminds me of, you know, that care home that we've done with the voices. Yeah. Like if he was put on a smaller scale. There's someone in there! There's no way! Did you hear that, Steve? Now we are in the middle of nowhere. What is it? Have you heard something? Like crying. Hello? Is there anyone? What is it? Did you hear someone? Like, yeah. Like a person. So this is the kitchen guy. There is no person. There might be. It might be on the road, like you said before. Yeah. Just what It just sounded like a woman, but I thought it was crying. And then it sounded like bricks. Yeah. We 
just set up the K2. Now this was the region where me and Griff actually heard the voice like, that's my bag, that's Griff's. And we heard it like kind of in this section. So I'm just gonna put the device there and It wouldn't matter. You caught your car's part there. I know, but I did hear just a car go past. It went past super slow as well. Stay. Did you hear that? Like Is walking. It? Yeah, I think we can have to do this one in night vision. Okay. The spirit. We're going to introduce ourselves. You've been here for a while. You might have seen us walking around. My name is Steve. My name's Jason, slash Griff. And we've heard reports that there's something inside this place. Now a friend come the other day and he, he said he believes he might have witnessed some kind of paranormal activity. And that's why we're here. Please don't be afraid to come near us. We mean you no harm. We've set up a few things around the room. We have a device in the doorway. That's a black box. And we have another device on the kitchen side. And that's got a green light on it. We also have other devices Brothers, now is that in relation to someone who lived here? So you obviously, if you are communicating with these devices, I don't need to show you how they work. You've already got it nailed down. We are called the Ouija Brothers which is quite funny because we don't even use an Ouija board. I can't even remember the last time we used one. And to everyone who keeps asking why we called it, it's just a play on words of the Mario brothers. He's got a brother called Luigi. So it's just kind of like that. Or are you trying to tell us that you had... Holy water. Come and talk to us. Come and interact with some of the devices that we have set up. They will not hurt you. Fucking hell. Do right. you want me then? You, come on, I'm about six foot away. No, but you wish you wanted me in the sense of oh, looking. No, was because a... it felt like something ran up my leg. It went. Bottom of my leg. Are you standing near Griff? And I'm sweating. I'm gonna to have to take my off. I can't work in these conditions. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. He's a diva. Working. Holy water again. In that evil voice. Do you need holy water? Is that something that you need? Is that something that you want? So if you can hear me, spirit, can you walk towards the sink? And the sink in the kitchen I'm talking about. Come closer. It was a knock. That was a knock? It really was, just there. Come closer. That was a knock. Come closer. That was a knock. Now this is where we heard the noise be, um, earlier on. So can you come closer please, spirit? That was over there. So can you keep moving towards us, please?
Can you come closer, please, Spirit? Thumbs up there. Can you come closer, please, Spirit? Thumbs up there. Keep moving towards us. Keep moving towards the sound of our voices. And set one of these devices off in the kitchen. We have introduced ourselves. Chase. What? There was two knocks then. Coming from this section. Oh, right, not behind me. Could it be settling? Because it's been warm. Well, Is when we've been here in here for two hours, we didn't hear, apart from that one noise, we didn't hear anything like that. Just so you know, Spur, if you don't want to use the equipment, that's more than fine. If you prefer to interact with us using knocks, bangs, or taps, or throwing things, or anything like that, we would love it. So don't feel like you just need to mess with the devices, because the devices might not even work. It's just a theory into the paranormal. That was loud. That was right next to me. And you had me in shot, so I didn't move. That sounded like it come right near the, the K2. That was really loud, actually. That, that was loud. That was right next to me. That was right next to me. Knock twice for yes, please. Just like this. What was that? It's very bad. It was very faint. It wasn't faint for me, mate. There was a knock behind me then. Okay, this Can is... I just look into this corner a sec? Because I knocked that wall. What the fuck was that? I knocked that wall. What the fuck was that? I knocked that wall. What the fuck was that? Because look, I knocked here. So. So you knocked on that wall and you heard, what did you hear? Like, like scattering. I felt like it was on me, yeah. Spirit, I'll ask you one more time. Was that you making that noise? If so, Front room. How do I use it? <laughs> that was funny. That caught me off guard. So I'm all here whispering in the middle of nowhere. There you go. Yeah. And then you hear these noises, so you you jump off a little bit. To be honest, I've been a little bit jumpy recently. Yeah. I think it's because of all the bats and stuff, and yeah, just getting into it a little bit more. But well, that was quite good, actually. That was a good little section. We had a few little knocks in this section. Knocks all in definitely, the corner. Definitely knock, uh, knocking over there. Yeah. Knocking here. And there's like scurrying or like something. A, like, could have been wildlife, but we don't know. But that yeah, was... I mean, I mean, you don't know if it's like a, a mouse or a rat or something that's in the walls. But possibly. again, it, it might just be the same thing as what we heard at... Um, yeah. Which is cave. Oh, cage. Gosh. Yeah. That was horrible. This is strange. 
It is very strange, yes. We're not used to coming into locations and things kind of happening. No, we don't know if it's paranormal, it's just it, events are happening around us, but what it is, I don't know. But it's caught our attention, so we're going to move on. We're going to move into another part of the building. Whoa. What the? Okay, 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 okay. We'll stay here just a bit longer. Now, it... that was maxing on oh, full. No. Do you think the camera would have, did you capture it in time? Maybe, I did spin it round to it quick. Is there something near that device with the green light? Cause that just maxed out and he didn't just like flicker, that was maxing and he was holding for like about two seconds, three seconds. We've been hearing a lot of noise from that section so far. If you can hear us or see us, could you light that device up again, please, for us? We was just about to leave. And then that device just, it was taken off. Is that a sign that you want us to stay here in this room with you? Is there such thing as an afterlife? Is there such thing as a life after this one? If so, use all your en- What the fuck? You are annoying. <laughs> it's nice. In a demon voice. Am I talking to the devil? Am I talking to one of his servants? His minions? Am I talking to the evil that lurks on this earth? Is there any good here? So Griff just called out for a little bit um, in the living room next, next to this and not much happened. I think he had one response. So we're going to ask to see if there's anything upstairs and if he wants to come down with us. Um, so we've just kind of switched over a bit. I'm here in the, the hallway leading from the, the front door up to the stairs. And as you can see, Griff's right next to the stairs. Is that you? I can't hear what you're on about. If you're up above, could you make a sound from upstairs? These rooms are quite isolated. It's warm. It's warm again. It's a hot, muggy day. But we're going to get back to what we was asking. Can you please walk down the stairs? We've been told a lot of good stuff about this place. The kitchen was amazing. It was a great start to the investigation. But since then it's kind of died down. It's, it's been a bit more quiet. Have you used all your energy? Could you copy me doing this? I do have a bad knuckle. What the fuck? You hear that? Yeah, it, yeah. You did it back? Still doing it? It's still going. Do it again. Louder, please. I don't know if the camera would have picked that up, but we heard that. No, I hope it does. Copy me. One thing Cole did tell us, well tell me was, 
that he did get knocking on command and that just happened for us. He did. Now, it didn't sound like it come from within this part, but he, you could hear it. For in. me, it sounded, it sounded louder up there. Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Shall we go upstairs? It's our only option, eh? If that's where we just discovered to, downstairs. We'll leave the REM pod down here. Yeah? You reckon? Yeah, we'll hear that. We'll leave that for it to play with. Because if we just heard knocking up there, that's where I want to be. Well, that was, that was like proper, um, it was proper like do. I haven't heard, I haven't had, we haven't had knocks on command for... 39 degrees, sir. Seven years. <laughs> on command knocking. Unless he was just, the knocks like, echoing through the building. A possibility, eh? But... So we just heard some knocking coming from this direction. Have we got something intelligent here with us? Could you do that again? I'd love to hear that knocking in this room. Stephen's in the corridor and I've come into this big room. Now this is directly where the other corridor would have been. So if there is a spirit within these walls, within this section of the house, could you tell us who you are please? So what we've done is, we've left the devices downstairs. But at the moment, I don't think you need the devices to show yourself that you're here. We've heard a lot of noises. What do you want? What do you want? We want to capture evidence of the paranormal. We would love nothing more than to show the world and to show ourselves that there is really something. And all the experiences that we've had over the years can't be explained. We believe this is where you are. Everyone's watching. I tell you, this is, it's menacing here in person. Just how black and dark the entire corridor is, can't see anything. That's what I mean, it's his dark. Do you want to show him what it's like? <laughs> uh, two seconds, here we go. That's it. And we've just got the night vision. Come on then, we'll get you some holy water if you start talking to us. Fucking hell, stay. What? It sounded like something just come up the stairs. Did he? The ones I just walked past? No, they're here. In between this door. Walk down those stairs then. It was like. But wood. Yeah. Do you think the camera would have picked it? Well, I hope so. I was talking though. I feel like I heard someone coming down the stairs here. This one. Me. So. If that was you... Oh my god, it, oh, it's just gone off, but... Oh, sorry, the glare was on the screen, but that said me. So I asked you if you'd walk down the stairs, and you said me. Who is me? Who is me? That was me. What is your name? Jason said he just heard something going up the stairs. Well, something on the stairs. What the fuck, Jason? I can't see. 
Like that's scurrying again. Really? But like, like just here. Like just on these stairs here. Like. Sin. What's a sin? Is this a sin what we're doing now? Oh, sorry. Cell. Cell. As in S E L L. Yeah. Cell what? I mean, it's. it's Stephen. Fuck off. Cell Stephen. The Ouija brothers ain't gonna work much if Stephen's gone. <laughs> Why is that come up with my name again? I don't know, ask you. Gerard, what's going on, man? Big Jezza. <laughs> That is my name. And me and Griff was talking about this the other week. Lately, things have been happening in my house. I'm not gonna go into it. Cole, Cole's was Start. Cole was on here on his own. He's with two other people. Pussy. I was gonna say, this is a place where you, if you're on your own, it's fucked. Yeah. Because, I reckon if you left me in here on my own, I'd be a bit on edge. Yeah. It's been getting like that recently, though. It seems like something's creeping up to us, and yeah. it seems that something's literally got a lock on us and wants to show us something. Maybe something's attached themselves to us because the last inv investigation we done was ex it was explosive. You're the two, not so much. What? Ooh! What the fuck? I heard that. That was... That's running. That we gotta get down here and have a look. We gotta. That was... The, the camera would've picked that up, wouldn't it? I hope so. See, I'm getting flashbacks to that, you know, that... Yeah. That college place where something ran towards... The college, the college... The college next to the murderer. Yeah. Honestly, that was the, it was like running. It's, I mean, if you, if you think logically, do you that's think it could be? That's where I'm going, ooh, because I'm not do worried you think it could about, be an animal? I'm not worried about something getting me, but what I am worried about something is running a at you. mouse running up me or a horse. Or, or a rat. Or a rat. That, that was... That's running. Oh. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that, that was... That's running. Did you just run down here? What do you want? We want answers. You fuck. We want evidence. We've heard... We've, we've, We've had things... And these claw marks? What the hell is all this? Or maybe it could be, you know, when people are taking furniture out or whatever. Yeah. It's just scraped on the wall. It does look like claw marks. Okay, so we've walked down the other end of the corridor. It's like the Blair Witch stuff, this is. I oh, really what the is, fuck am I doing in my life? <laughs> Why are we here? I, I agree. I don't so it's know. It's genuinely, we're putting ourselves at risk. The, the, for one, a farmer could come with his boys. Yeah. Tell us to get off, tell us we've trespassed when the door was clearly open and we've got the key. Blast and us out of the way. And just say, yeah, you're trespassing bang with a salt pellet gun. Then you've got the instance of someone setting the building light and we've only got one exit. Then you've got all the risks of mould, um, like um, pigeon shit, rat piss, everything like that, cat piss, fox shit. It's all poisonous to us. We could, you can get blind off fox shit. Um, then you've got the elf risks of the dust. So there's just the your standard elf risks. Now, if you believe in spirits, we at a disadvantage. Yeah. Did you hear me, spirit? I mean, the everyday stuff that I just read off, the everyday uh, risks of being in an abandoned location, falling through the floors, uh, all of that kind of stuff, 
those risks we can take on. But the risk of meeting you, the risk of you meeting us, is unknown. And like I said, we've taken all of that into situation, we've assessed it, we understand the risk, but we don't understand the risk of meeting you. So spirit, or demon, or anything that can hear us that we can't see, could you just show yourself to us, or do something significant, and show me and Stephen the reason why we shouldn't be doing this? Hello? Are you down there? Come towards us. Quite anxious here, to be fair. I'm just looking into the abyss yet again. On another Saturday night. Do you want to go out? Nah. <laughs> no. I've, I've got this farmhouse. <laughs> Fancy going out with your mates? Nah. <laughs> I'm going to see a fucking bunch of stuff across today. <laughs> or imagine. So we're going to head downstairs. Um, it seems to have gone quiet again up here. Not a lot has happened. But that's the thing that's been happening with this place. We say that and then something happens, doesn't he? Like an explosive lot of noise, I don't know what it is, but um, like knocking or some kind of running. Now we can't disregard that. It, it maybe could be something inside the walls, like a road and tie up. No, I hope, I hope that it is something paranormal because it is pretty cool, but you know, the possibilities are always there. But some of the knocks and stuff we had have been pretty good. The responses on the ghost tube has been good, but we're gonna go back down into the kitchen and end the investigation where we started because, like I say, we heard that kind of weird noise at the start, didn't we? And some of the other noises, like the knocking and the tapping going around the I think the knocking corners. that you did downstairs and then it carried on for a long time, that was really good. That was brilliant. It was like that just where it kept like echoing through the house. Yeah, yeah. It obviously wasn't an echo because you tried it again and nothing happened. Yeah. So there is an upstairs. Uh, when we was walking around earlier, checking to make sure there was nobody in here, no killers, obviously, and all that dangerous stuff, we went up there, and the ceiling is falling down. It's like about two inches off the um, roof. Yeah. Uh, so we're not taking the risk of it falling down on us. So that's the reason we're not doing an investigation up there. So don't have a go at us. Yeah. Okay. We are going to currently go downstairs now, and we're going to move towards the basement, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in the basement. Show you guys in there. It's not a very big basement, but we'll see if we can get anything. Okay. Unfortunately, Sorry. I couldn't even get any cinematics in there. The camera died. Oh snap! Yeah. Well, not the um, the stabilizer. Yeah, that K two meter could have been going. <laughs> I think it did. It was actually, guys. You're not gonna believe it. We we know because we've got a recording on the K two meter that it was just going ballistic. Yeah. That's the spirit, just to think of it, Annie. Okay. If you want to join us downstairs, you're more than welcome. Or if you're downstairs, we're coming to join you. Well, it's horrible, eh? Yeah, thankfully there's no bats, though. The last basement we went down was quite eventful. I mean, this is an amazing place. Yeah, it's really good. Again, massive shout out to Mr. Carl Gun uh, Guntrip for sorting us out with this one. There's a lot of glass on the side, but this is something we saw earlier. Unused shotgun shells. I think it'd be easier if I picked up the jar. I'm not gonna touch the shotgun shells themselves. So, yeah. Window. And they're all closed up, as you can see. All right, so we're going to go back even further in. I've showed you the shotgun shells. A lot of corks, a lot of wine cellar, a lot of stuff like that. So we'll just switch off um, and we'll go in the dark because obviously that's the best thing for these yeah. basements. We'll see if we can get anything. 
Okay, let's introduce ourselves. Because we haven't done that since the start of the investigation, but saying that, my name come through again. It did. We didn't mention that, did we? That it Steve's name actually come through the... Yeah. So, my name is Steve, and I'm here with Griff. We've had some amazing stuff so far in this investigation. Don't know if it was paranormal, though. I mean, it could, we could have logical explanations, but either way... What's the fun in that? No, no. But either way, it's been fun. All right, guys, we've been in the basement for about 40 minutes, and um, I think pretty much the most exciting thing down here has been the shotgun shells. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to head back upstairs to the kitchen, and like Steve said earlier, we're going to finish this where we started. Spirit, we want to we want to say thank you if you've tried your hardest and if you've gave us activity. So we've heard a lot of things, we've, we've heard some, a lot of noises to be fair. But because of how sceptical me and Griff are, it's never enough. Is there any chance that you could give us a definitive sign that you're here? These are our final moments inside this location. Is that it again? That was the K2? That was the K2. Yep, it's moving. K2 on green. Okay. All right then, yes, I can see that you're using the K2 meter, the green light's flashing. Brilliant. Could you make it flash up to red for me, please, just the once? Just so I know that I'm talking to somebody. Come on. It won't hurt you. Quick, touch it. Do it. Get some energy. Build it up. Jump up and down. You don't have to be scared to use these items. 